I know. Well, I this has been, I'm at home as you guys, well, I don't know. I'm in the basement and the wife, it's a whole thing. So anyways, it's Benzing a history time. Right, wait, I, wait. But before you get going, the, the dog that's on the wall behind you, does it does it have a name? Holy cow. I've never been down here before, really. <laughs> Could you but, hold it and pet it while you take us through Benzing a history? But I just, as I was looking for Benzing a history stuff, I just found this letter. It's from my grandparents to my parents, March 7th, 1978, the day I was born. About wow. me, you know? Super cute. Super cute. I was looking for stuff. Big got, letdown from when that letter I got the paraphernalia, <laughs> just, just so... You know, I got some like my signs of old businesses. I got wait, wait, hold that last one up. Yeah, Neil needs these. Neil, write these down. I got an unemployment Single. check. Singles here. Dating site. So there you go. Okay. Time, and I'm gonna try to do it quickly and professionally, and mix in with a little bit of me. Um, but I just want to make sure our fellow team members are here as well, because this is why we are doing that. Yeah, we've got some some Benzinga family here. We're oh, all yeah. zingers in this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. This basement, it, it's kind of like a dungeon. I, if I can t t take you around, it looks, I don't know. Someone may be living under the basement. That's what I think. But um, all right. And there are gonna be some, there's going to be some shirts. I'm taking you through a history of Benzinga swag and all this kind of stuff. I I'm, I have a few shirts on, if you can tell. All right. I, I, let's get, can we just get started? Yeah, get it rolling. Yeah. You, you, right, want, so, you want me and Neil to disappear? We'll buzz there, off. There isn't going to be much stocks. I mean, you guys can stay there, but you can turn off your video for a minute if you want to, if you want to chime in. In a little bit, we're going to start with something that'll give you a little bit of the history real quick. So this is like a few minute thing. Take a look. And uh, Brent, I, I read you. Um, by the way, Brent, in the day Portnoy, we talked about you. And I don't know. I don't think you'll be mad at me, but and we talked about you for a second. I'll tell you later. Here you go. Benzinga. It has a nice ring to it, but what does it mean? It's a made up word. That's Jason Rasnick, the CEO of Benzinga. My grandfather and I, you know, we were like, I told you I went to speech tutor and like I would out, we just like make up words sometimes. And Benzinga is one of these, can be a catchy word actually. It's been in my head for a long time. And when we came up with the company, we wanted something that we could create a strong brand. So we wanted something that didn't, you know, have any particular meaning. And while the name is made up, the company certainly is not. This financial media site gives consumers investment ideas pegged to breaking news. And with over a million unique visitors a month, it's picking up steam fast. There's a lot of stuff going on internationally in Greece, the EU. You could probably do a Google search and find a million results. We take that news and deliver ideas based off that news. So, so it gives investors the knowledge of what they can do with it. This was once only available to hedge funds. Raznick's idea of democratizing the investment industry by having researchers and analysts, many of them former Wall Streeters, writing up different strategies for the average consumer to think about was a big one. But this brainstorm has humble beginnings. Now, I wanted to start this company. I didn't have any money for an office space and didn't want to commit to an office space. Walking through the suburbs of Detroit, Rasnick reflects on his startup's whirlwind rise and shows me the house where Benzinga began. It seems incredible, but it was only 18 months ago that Jason started his business out of this basement. I still remember having such an important phone call right in the spot right over here because the dryer fan was so loud over there that it caused like the first was like what's that noise and I and I and the and I knew the buzzer was about to go off so I had to go right here and put stuff around me so the noise wasn't loud. Started in Michigan, the self-proclaimed stock market junkie says his company is staying in Michigan despite the fact that many of the businesses Benzinga writes about are in more metropolitan areas. The value add to being in Michigan. There's tremendous value adds. I mean, it, there's a real sense of community and culture here. We're trying to be part of that that turnaround story. We are not trying to be. We are a part of the turnaround story, um, and we're going to be a much bigger one. We want to be one of those great companies like a General Motors or, you know, a Kellogg that is in Michigan that's been here for a long time. Today, the company is growing with 26 employees and looking to hire. Yeah, it's up. You know, we've grown fast, but we have, it's also... There's a lot of yeah, human legwork. It's not all automated. Focused most closely on small to mid cap companies, it has partnerships with big name news sites like Reuters. But for Jason, it's taken a lot to achieve such high achievements. You had a hard time growing up, correct? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, you did work extremely hard to get where you are. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Um, do you mean when I was younger, school? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had to outwork. Um, 
I had to outwork the average person to like, you know, had homework, they would finish it an hour. It would take me th three hours, four hours, but I invested that time. Back in, you know, elementary school, they're like, you're never gonna be able to read. They said that to your mother, correct? Yeah, yeah, they said you'll, ne you'll never be able to read. And that was definitely a hard, probably a very hard time for my parents. I was too young to I mean, really remember it, but I remember like, you know, being, ha I remember having to go to another room or LRC to have my work modified. And I hated that because it made me feel like I was different. Rasnick said it was his family who gave him the confidence to push on in school. My dad always it's like says, what are the last four letters of American? I can. And he says he tries to instill a similar confidence in people who work for him. So congrats to Joe for already taking that initiative and really. He also pushes people to rethink their approach to work. We got rid of the word work. It's like a bad word here. It's like say, it's it's one of the worst words you could possibly say. Like I'm going to work and don't come in here because we don't. When you think of work, you're like, oh, I'd rather be home or something. This is a place to create and build. That sort of motto fits with the company's serious but fun philosophy. They pass a football to the employee of the week every Friday. My job would, uh, wouldn't be so easy if it wasn't for you guys. And all come together for a huddle at the end of meetings. And you guessed it right, zing, another made up word. But that's how Rasnick says they like it. That way they can create their own meaning. It sort of means like awesome, like great, like it just, that's what it means. Like, you know, we want to be zingified. We want to be, you know, we want to do everything amazing. We want to deliver amazing. Reporting in Southfield, Michigan, I'm Christina Scotty. All right, hopefully that gave you a little bit of the history of the company without me telling all that story stuff and showing where it started. That call that I had in the basement when the washing machine was going on in a, a rented house that had a flood in the basement was uh, with a guy at Stockfoot. So I still remember, he's like, what's that noise? I'm like, I'm like, oh, the office is just buzzing. And the buzz was the washing machine going off. I was like, they're trying to like quiet that down. But that those were the beginning days.